heartbreaking for the family, but it's also a complete waste of resources. Valley Congressman Tim Ryan talking about Youngstown business owner Amir Adi Othman, who could be deported to his native Jordan on Sunday. Now, we told you about Al's story yesterday. He spent nearly two decades in the U.S. and has built a family. New tonight, First News reporter Amanda Smith takes a look at how local leaders are getting involved with his fight to stay in Youngstown. Amir Adi Othman, also known as Al, will have to leave his business to the downtown circle on Sunday for his native Jordan with no clear path that he can ever return. His green card was confiscated years ago on a claim that his first marriage was fraudulent. He has been fighting to get one ever since. Want to, you know, thank Al for everything that he's done to, you know, to, to help revitalize the city of Youngstown, the investments that he's made, you know, the countless number of people he's employed. Um, it's just, it's, you know, people who just want to thank Al. And that appreciation goes from the street to City Hall. We appreciate him and, and we, we really, um, value him in this community and if there's anything that I could do personally or professionally I would I would do that for him. A community show of support is planned for Saturday one day before his deadline to leave the country. Congressman Tim Ryan has been fighting against the Trump administration policy that's forcing Al to leave. You're using money manpower and hours to go after this upstanding citizen when there are violent criminals out there that we should be focusing our resources on and throwing them out of the country. Ryan says hundreds of thousands of people across the country are in similar circumstances. He says he wants to see the government work on a real solution to the issue. The main issue is can we have the political will to pass comprehensive immigration reform, which means secure the border, you know, make sure uh, people coming in uh, are documented. And also finding a path to citizenship for people like Al. In Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.